Hello, good morning people. Charlie Tango 1 coming at you here. Right, Hansen. Um, this video really, I've done similar ones to it, but this one's just to um, show you in terms of how to start these little 8R um, um, stoves up. Now, um, I'm going to cover this by, bit by bit. Um, now, I started off with Coleman's fuel. Um, it's it's clean, a lot cleaner than petrol and, and uh, uh, paraffin, they use that as well. Um, but really, um, it, it, it just soots, soots up all the stove and everything else, particularly paraffin, and you just get black soot all over your hands and everything. Well, if you're trying to cook a meal or something, you know, you know um, you're getting it all over the place. But then I've since got, um, i put that over there, and I'll put it over there, shall I? Yep. I've since found something that's much, much more suitable. It, it is a petrol, but it's had all the additives taken out. This, is, this, this Coleman's had some additives taken out, but this one, uh, I was listening to some chap who was talking about this, and everything is out of it. You've got no... No products in it whatsoever. You smell it, it doesn't even, you can't smell the petrol. That's how, you know, pure it is. Um, and so I recommend this. I do recommend this, like, you know, in your tank. Um, and uh, it does burn clean. It doesn't soot up your, your, your stove. Um, you can get this, this stuff, as been. You can get it from any chainsaw supplier. Or motor mower supplier, grass cutter, they seem to be the people that stock this. Um, you won't get it in places like B&Q and um, I don't know, you might, you, I don't know about over the other side of the pond, right? but uh, this you will only get in places where they have chainsaws mainly because they use this for the chainsaws. Right, having said that and got that out of the way, um, let's put that down there. Put that, excuse my nut, let's put that over there out of the way. Now, the stove. Let's have a little stove here. Over here. Yep. Now, this is the 8 hour stove. Now, I've already filled this up with Aspen. Aspen, yep. Um, let's put a little key in the hole near it. Now, the first thing you want to do, once you've filled that little tank up, ah, now the other important factor, don't fill this tank right up. You only want it roughly just over halfway, because it's got to have room for expansion to be able to vaporise the fuel down near the jet, down near here. So don't fill it up because all it'll do is it'll spit fuel out of the jet. That's what will happen. Um, now I, when I got these stoves I stripped all, my, all these down right to nothing. I, a lot of them, especially the Ukraine and, and, um, and the Russian ones, uh, I replaced all the wicks on them because they're pathetic. Um, I think it's an insult to call it a wick. <laughs> That's just me. Right, now what you do is you prime it. And there's a little priming bowl in here that you're all aware of. I just fill this... Usually I do it twice. But I'm not going to this time. Why is it, he asked himself. Because it should light on one. So, here goes nothing. Where's my little... Up here, I'm going to turn the lights off so that you can see how it performs. Now, oh, let's bring this back up. Might have to wait a minute because it'd be like watching paint dry. <laughs> so, here we go. But that's it. So, two thirds or three quarters fill the tank, put your um, 
meths in there to prime it. That's purely for priming it. That's a light. There we go. I think you see. Yeah, you can see the flames coming up there actually. And uh, I use this for in the shed. Well, this one here actually. I might make me coffee with it. I've got, a, I've, got a, I've got a silent burner on that one and you can have it right down low with that silent burner and it doesn't rapidly boil it, it just boils it slowly and then lets it percolate. Fantastic little things they are. Um, I love them, I really do. I think they're beautiful little stoves. Now I'm going to try and crack this um, before it goes out but if it does go out, it doesn't matter. I've got my little fuel. These, these are handy now, these little clippers, they got a, an extension on them. You know, look, rather than the standard one. And that's actually brilliant, look, you can get, that's the standard one. You've got that, that on there, brilliant. You don't get your, uh, all your hairs on your hands and fingers burnt. Well, this is crackling away here. And the reason for that little cracking is because it's about to run out. I'm going to let it run out in the hope that um, it will light up like that. You need to um, put this cap on tight, but also don't forget, when you turn the stove off, let it cool down so that this tank's absolutely cold and everything because it does get hot. When it's all cooled down, then just crack open this to take the pressure out of the tank so it becomes equal. Um, and then, as I say, you can store it with a bit of fuel in if you want, but I, I empty all mine out. Because, oh, I've got about, I don't know, eight or nine of these things, I think. But, um, anyway, this one, let's turn it up a little bit more, shall we? I don't know what's happening. I don't think this is better. No, this isn't better. Better than that, actually. I'm quite surprised. But so I don't think that's got a pricker in it in the jet. So it's just a question of taking the bowl off and putting a pricker in it on this particular one. But usually they've got a built-in pricker, and when you you must turn these um, clockwise. That's right handy right handy to turn them off. The left handy, all that does is raises the pricker up to clear the jet. But people tend to um, turn it off doing it counterclockwise. We're always doing is pushing the jet up or the pricker up through the jet. Well when you go and store it somewhere, especially if you don't depressurize the tank, uh, you, you will get leakage, you know, and in times you get to your campsite, you find uh, all the fuel virtually gone out of there and it's soaked all your other equipment. So be warned on that one. This one, it's going pretty well really, I mean it, it, it'll boil, boil well, but um, usually they, they uh, roll a little bit better than that. Um, but nevertheless, I'll, um, now that I've, oh, that's getting warm, and even though I didn't have it plugged in. E even though, um, I replaced them all like, um, this uh, particular one, I don't think it has a jet in. Um, 
they usually wore a bit more than that. Now I don't know if it's because I've put quite a bit of fuel in the tank, it's good good half the tank there. Um, that should last you all, all, all day, if, cut, you know, if you fire it up a couple of times. But that should be fine. And the other important factor is when you've got these up, do not have this tank cap facing you. Always turn it another way so it's sideways at you. Because that way, if for some reason it gets back pressure too much, in this case, it, what happens is it will lift this little pipette, it, which is a pressure release valve, it pushes it up and, and it spurts the fuel out and the pressure out and that doesn't come out as fuel, it comes out as a flame and it comes out about two or three feet high so it'll burn all your eyelashes, your nose, hairs, your, your beard if you've got one and some of your hair. Well, I'm going to have a look at that one because I, I, I want that one to burn a bit better than that but there, that, that's the principle of it, it's so simple um, you know, it's unreal. So um, let me turn this off because I'm, I'm going to... Um... Oh, and the other thing is... Look through these cracks. <clears throat> you can see it. These little vents here in the bowl. When you're going to turn it off, look through one of them. And as you turn it off, just see that the candle, it goes to a candle when you turn it low, look. That's low, now it's going to the candle, right? So it's, it's gone to a little candle now. Yeah, you can see that. When you turn the rest of the way, make sure it goes out. That way you know that you shut that valve off completely. And it's not, and it's not leaking. If you've got to blow that candle flame out, then it's not, oh, that was heavy, the um, spindle um, is not shutting the valve properly, so um, and that will be the cause of it continuing to candle. So there you have it, that's, uh, that's it, tank with S-Pen fuel, about half full, see that tank's not hot yet. But I think that's when that are warm or when that gets hot. But so what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to leave it on. Now if you've only just turned it off, I'm going to leave it on for a bit. If you've only just turned it off, you can turn it back on. You'll hear it hiss. And away she'll go. And that's going a bit better this time. So Leave it going for a bit because that tank's not very hot yet. So although you've got a heat shield here, I think it uh, it will roar better. If it doesn't, I'm going to strip down the spindle and um, check the um, the packing inside the spindle, which is graphite compressed graphite, and um, see if that's a problem. So without further ado, let's put this up here, that seems to be... There we go, so that's it, could be more simpler than that. Um, um, and I'll catch you on the next <coughs> one, because I wasn't happy Cheerio. with the... Um, the way that was running. So um, what I've done is I've I've stripped the um, taken the bell off. I've um, taken the jet out. I've taken the spindle out. I've um, checked the graphite. I put a brand new graphite um, ring in there. Tightened it up and um, I've now filled this up. Well, half full. 
I'm now going to prime it and um, we'll see what happens, eh? See if the, see if the paint dries, <laughs> so to speak. Keep knocking that bloody percolator fly and I'll make a coffee in a minute. Right now I've got, I've got my spanner out, handy, just in case I've got to crack that larger nut up. Because when you put a new graphite o-ring in, if you like, call it o-ring, when you put a new one of them in, uh, oh, that's not right, oh, is it? That's better. It, it uh, doesn't always, um, you might get a little leak out of that big nut. So um, what, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, that's it. I'm going to put a little bit of something under there to make that a little bit squarer because it seems to be uh, wanting to um, do something else other than sit up square. So that's it, let's see what that does. Yeah, that's a bit squarer. You see that okay, yeah? With this, take that key out again. Just, just turn around, bear with me. Well, it's not leaking anyway. Turn the lights out for a minute. Oh, let's see what happens. Well, it's heating up that spreader, right? something like that um, I'm still not happy with that so I'm going to turn it off I know that they rule more than that it turns off and seals the candles gone out um, so what I'm now going to do is I won't do a, um, a rerun of it I'll just um, take the bell out and I'm going to take the spindle off of the tank um, and then I'm going to um, check that wick because I don't know if that's a new wick I put in there. If it's too tight in the um, vaporising chamber, that also will cause it to burn low like that. So I'm going to take that out and check that so that it's all A1 up and running. Um, I've got ideas with this stove, that's why. Anyway, I won't say any more than that. Right. We're happy with that. Still I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, everyone. So, I've done no more. <laughs> this is the third attempt. Uh, but what I've done this time is uh, the wick in the tank here, although I had replaced it, um, on pulling it out, I think it was a little bit too tight in there, actually. Now, I have had that happen with some other wick, these big, fat, thick things. And they do restrict the flame on the berm. So without further ado, I'm going to get this thing alight. I am going to attempt to um, do another burn test. See how we get on. Uh, see, the thing with me is uh, uh, 
I'm determined to get it right. I won't be defeated. <laughs> it's got to be right. If it ain't right, then I just keep messing around with it till it is right. And as I've said before, I do repair these for people um, if they want it. I've got spare parts hanging up there. If they ever want um, their stove looked at or something, I, I do clean them right up and everything else. So you you get back virtually a new stove. But um, all I do charge, as, as I've often said, is... Um, is five pounds so you can always put the five pound in the stove um, when you send it to me and then I can send it to you it goes back first class recorded that's why it's four pounds uh, 75 or something like that so um, uh, I do I prefer to do them recorded then I can track them as well and you can track them also you know if, if you want to but um, that, that's what I do you only have to contact me my phone numbers at most of my on the top of most of my videos um, just give me a ring uh, I'll give you my uh, address and um, you just tell them what's tell me what stove you've got etc and you know I'll uh, I'll get it up and running for you I'll let this thing burn right down now because um I'm tending, I always do it twice, but I, I'm trying to get over that. If it can do it once, then why do it twice? <laughs> oh, excuse me, itchy nose there. <sighs> right, so, oh, she's just about to go out. That doesn't matter. Oh. <coughs> there we go. So, I'll crack it and see if I can... That's not going to have it. I only cracked it a little bit, but really that sounds better. Let's see if I can get. Well, it's just one of those stoves that doesn't want to go any higher. Well, I've done everything possible now. So I've eliminated everything. The only thing left to do is replace the jet, but that's quite adequate. You can sure get a kettle going on that, no problem at all. So This tank decides to get a bit hotter. Like it did with uh, this one here, though, I put, I put it on very low for me coffee, and um, by the time it got to boiling it, it was roaring like a good one. So they do have to uh, have a little bit of a warm up period, I think. Let's, uh, let's hope to see. But I'm happy with that. Turn the right off if you like it. It makes it easier for you. Close to see the seat. Yeah, I'm happy with that. It's a nice little sort of stove going there. So, um, without further ado, I'm going to leave it at that. And, um, sorry, I breathed on it. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes from there.